A shutdown is in effect in St. Lucia due to Category 1 Hurricane Elsa. St. Lucian Prime Minister Alan Chastanay is urging citizens to stay indoors and to stay safe. Only essential services will be operational. And Mr. Chastanay said that the island is equipped so far to treat with Hurricane Elsa. We have been preparing this country to become more resilient. We've spent millions of dollars um, through DBRP in projects like this here in Ansari and getting the things redone properly. The amount of desilting that we have done. And I just want to say that we do have a plan. We're working hard. We're going to continue to work to make sure we can finish the job. The shutdown will remain in place until an all clear is given by the National Emergency Management Organization, or NEMO. And while Hurricane Elsa continues to affect parts of the region as is seen here as it lashes Barbados, parts of Trinidad and Tobago continue to feel its effects. Overnight rainfall has resulted in flooding in central and southern Trinidad. TTT News understands that parts of Freeport, Talparo, and Todd's Road are currently underwater, leaving some residents stranded in their homes and some roads impassable. And earlier today, Friday, severe rain and wind conditions also brought down a tree in the vicinity of Pembroke Street, Port of Spain. TTT News will keep you updated on the developments of Hurricane Elsa.